All right, look. I get it. I'm with you. You want you want a Pine Match Crystal light version, but you want it to have eye tracking. And uh, and some of you are also complaining that it doesn't come with a D Max. Um, or you want the normal crystal with pass through and eye tracking, um, but you can lose the battery in the XR chip, and you want it for a lot, lot cheaper, like the crystal light pricing, I guess. Um, or you'll take the crystal pro, but you don't want to have to buy a new GPU. See where I'm going here with this. It's about managing expectation. Um, you know, we want a Vision Pro, but we want it to cost 1500 You want the VR1 with all its pass-through and tracking, but we want it to cost like 1500 We don't want four grand headsets. XR4, whatever that's going to cost, another four grand headset. So it seems to me technology's filtering, it's coming in, but there's still a huge premium on price for it. And the closest thing you're going to get to it is the is the Pimax Lite. But complaining that it's not got eye tracking for the value that you're paying. And even complaining that it's not coming, pre-orders are not coming with the D-Max. Like, Jesus, man. Like, do you want this company to survive? Because it's the only one really pushing it. Really pushing the envelope for the price point. Like, no one else is doing it for Pimax. Um, I mean, yeah, you've got you got the uh, the Quest 3 but doesn't come with a display port so it's like you've got to pick your poison like which what are you willing to sacrifice to get what you need for now or are you going to wait another 2 or 3 years to get what you really want when the 5000 series is out maybe the Beyond 2 is out um, yeah the, the Vision Pro the Pimax Pro VR1, maybe we can get for a little bit cheaper in a couple of years. So you're either waiting for then or, or you, you, you're going for it now. Now, look, I'm not, I'm not, it's not falling on deaf ears. Like, I get it. I get why people want eye tracking in the crystal because it's going to be harder to drive than this. You know, you've got a 2880 by 288 screen that you're driving. Um, Plus a bigger field of view, so it's going to be harder to drive than the Beyond. So I get it, I understand why you want it, but but do you you want it to cost a grand? Then are you happy with it costing a grand? Because if you're happy with it costing a grand, just get the normal crystal because you get pass through as well, which is also important. As I'm learning now, having the Beyond for a while, how kind of not critical. It's just when you got a type or like it's just annoying to keep doing this, right? Um. And I guess Pimax may have heard these murmurs of people complaining that it doesn't have eye tracking for, you know, 700. So they've, maybe people even cancelling pre-orders because they probably don't have a 4,000 GPU. Are you cancelling these pre-orders? Why, why have Pimax just brought out a, uh, a mailing list video? Um reassuring you that even with a mid-range GPU a 3060 you can still drive their Pimax crystal um, is it because people are buying the crystal and getting a bit apprehensive or maybe not following it through because they're concerned that their rig's not going to be good enough to drive 2880 by 2880 which is 35 PPD um, I think that's a a valid claim but saying that um, it depends what you're gonna be playing man like if you're playing flight sim um, it doesn't support eye tracking anyway now I could see why you want it because when you look at DCS with their quad view eye tracking um, they're getting like they're getting minimum 50% better frames over fixed uh, fixed foveated rendering so yeah, I mean, look look from the video that Pimax put out, it was like 70%. I think you were getting 30 to 40% um, 
uh, with a fixed lens and uh, and yeah like 90 to 100 um, yeah with the with the eye tracking man so if you're playing DCS I can see why you want it but then again like it seems to me people want it eye tracking but they also want it for the same price of 699 you know I don't know man I don't know it's it's uh, it's interesting. I mean, this doesn't have foveated rendering. The Beyond, um, and you can see, you know, what I'm getting here, like 37 half, 38. Um, but that wouldn't make a huge difference in this anyway, even if I had it. So it's not. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but yeah, seeing what DCS does, that's that's quite impressive. So yeah. Um, is now the time to get into it and to get the light and they're driving it with a 3060 on the Pimax uh, promo vid that they put out the re you know the little reassurance vid that they just put out is driving on the 3060 turned the settings way down obviously no anti-aliasing and, and anything else it was just um, you know but you're getting frames it just didn't look too great so uh, I'm, I mean I'd like to think that Simmers um, you know, I imagine if anybody's going to have a decent budget, it's probably going to be Simmers uh, to put into into their headset and to be able to drive it. Um, you know, later on this year, we're going to get the Pimax Pro, um, but then you've got to buy a new GPU, so you're still into big money. So it's looking like a couple of years, it's going to be really sweet for VR. If this is the start, and I guess the Aero kicked it all off, um, you know, a few years back, uh, and now we're we're kind of getting there. Everybody kind of knows what they want. Even me with this headset, like I'm kind of through um, the honeymoon period. So, you know, I've had it now for a month and a half, and I mean, I, I predominantly the first month I really just played DCS, um, but I'm starting to get back into uh, you know Flight Sim 20 here. Um, and I'm noticing the glare, and I didn't notice it as much in, in, in DCS, but I'm definitely noticing it way more in uh, in Microsoft Flight Sim. And I've even changed the livery of this plane because it used to be, you know, the default one's white, and it's like you couldn't look out the window for the glare hitting the bottom of the lenses. So now I've changed it to this, and it's way better. But because of the chairs, like I'm still getting it. And at night, yeah, same thing, which is really annoying for night because you like you want to enjoy the night and the OLED and the blacks, and then you kind of just like you know, dazzled by it. So I still love this headset. I love the size of it. Um, but the glare, dude, like, ugh, it's annoying. It's really annoying. Now, some people on Discord, I've, I've noticed, are talking about, um, you know, oh, you can, you can alter it in the settings, go to NVIDIA GPU settings and tinker with it. They're saying it's more of a software issue. Um, I can't see how because it seems like it's a lens hardware issue to me. But um, but then I didn't experience it in DCS as much. I, you know, so now and again you did, but on the whole, it's way more noticeable in in Microsoft Flight Sim. So um, yeah, man. So you know, even the Beyond, it's it's uh, it's got its little shortfalls. Um, hold on, let me tell. Whoa, why are you pulling that far? Jesus Christ, I'm right foot down all the way. That was weird. Um, here's old Salzburg look. Let's fly over to Innsbruck. Let's put them up before I forget. Castle on a hill, as Ed Sheeran once said. Oh man, this looks so good. Looks so good. Like what? What? What would you get right now? Is it the crystal light? Um, is it the beyond? Um, only the other day, the first time, because um, a lot of people talk about the sweet spot in the Beyond, right? And I've always talked about it in my videos because it's always been great. Like, I put this on, it works 
you know, it's, it just works, it's nice, it's sharp, it's it's everything I need. And it was only since, I didn't notice it in DCS, but I don't know if it's because I'm using these huge MFDs in the Cirrus, this SR22. Um, hold on a minute. Just hold me level, mate. Cirrus 2 Delta, Charlie leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Um, 100% full rich, let me just get this set up, then we're sorted. Oh, we're going to hit, hit a mountain. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, so the only thing... Obviously, I've just talked about the glare. Um, the... The... Uh, the sweet spot hasn't been an issue for me because I just... You know, rather than there, I just look there. But the other day, I was doing something and I, and I, I was just scanning over here. I think I was looking at frequencies or something. And... Um, so... And I was like, ah, oh, damn it, yeah, that's the, uh, that's what everyone's complaining about, isn't it? With a sweet spot, because I could, do, I was just looking at someone and I just glanced, like I'm doing right now, just glancing over to that power bar of 100, and it's just blurry, like it's, it's blurry, so, but I'm obviously watching the speed, and I was obviously landing or doing something, and, and, uh, yeah, it was just, it was just, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's where you want the bigger sweet spot then. Um, but it's the only time I've really felt that. Is my leveling still on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm window mode. Oh, dude. God damn it. Come on. Whoa. Well, we're going really fast. How are we going this fast? Yeah, anyway. So I just thought I'd make a little video talking about that, really. Let's try and find Innsbruck. It's in this direction, if I remember. Anyway, I'll, um, I'm going to shoot. Interesting to hear people's thoughts. Latest potatoes.